One of the most disastrous and alarming announcements has been made by the chief of NASA this year. The explosion of Betelgeuse has been making rounds in the astronomical community for quite some time. However, NASA has finally gotten deep into the issue to give out public remarks and warnings in detail about this massive supernova. Betelgeuse is one of the massive stars found in our starry sky, which ages back to only 10 million years. This young star is commonly called the shoulder of the Orion constellation, or Alpha Orionis, due to its recent reddish and radiant appearance. This star used to be the 10th brightest star in the sky, but the luminosity of this cosmic body these days has gotten so high that it has become the second brightest star in its constellation, followed by the brightest blue star, Rigel. But Betelgeuse, the most recognizable and luminous star, has been behaving strangely for the past few years. Scientists have noticed an unprecedented drop in the brightness of the star, and the change was first observed between the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. This change has led scientists to suspicion that Betelgeuse may be about to explode in the form of a supernova. But since 2019, no specific community or team of researchers has either confirmed the news or told exactly when the supernova can or will happen, which is why the space community has been going crazy over this event. So what exactly is happening with Betelgeuse? Let's dive in and see. The scientific community has now solved the mystery of Betelgeuse. Scientists have concluded that Betelgeuse, the bright baby star, has partially exploded and has lost a substantial part of its visible surface. And NASA's Hubble telescope has captured the entire state of how it exploded and how it slowly recovered after the event that has never before been seen in a normal star. Based on the data received from the Hubble Space Telescope, which NASA has shared in an article, Betelgeuse has produced a gigantic surface mass ejection, or SME, which caused the change in the luminosity of the star. SME, or CMEs, are mass ejections that happen commonly in any star. During these mass ejections, powerful eruptions happen near the outer surface of the star, which are driven by interruptions in the magnetic field of the star's body. Now, if our sun, which is also a star, routinely ejects parts of its tenuous outer atmosphere, the coronal, it will eject 2 times 10 to the 16th power grams of plasma waves. So when a star as big as Betelgeuse's CME happens, it can eject 400 billion times more mass than a typical ejection from the sun. Andrea Dupree, an expert at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, claimed that he has never seen such a huge mass ejection ever before. He found that something was happening to Betelgeuse, but these happenings were so rare that they didn't fully understand what had happened. According to him, it was a totally new phenomenon that he could directly observe to resolve with Hubble, just the way he observed stellar evolution in real time. Back in 1996, Dupree utilized Hubble to distinguish between hot patches on the star's surface. Betelgeuse won't necessarily explode soon. These new observations provide clues about how red stars lose mass at the end of their lives, as their nuclear fusion furnaces burn out before exploding as supernova. However, Betelgeuse's surprising behavior is not proof that the star will explode soon. So the fact that it has lost mass is not necessarily a sign of an imminent explosion. The titanic outburst of 2019 was possibly caused by a convective plume bubbling up from deep within the star, more than a million miles across. It produced jolts and pulsations that ripped away the chunk of the photosphere, leaving the star with a large, cool surface under the cloud of dust that was produced by the cooling of the chunk of the photosphere. Betelgeuse is now struggling to recover from this effect. The fractured chunk of the photosphere, which weighs several times more than our moon, was shot into space and cooled into a cloud of dust that blocked the starlight seen by observers on Earth. However, the dimming, which began in late 2019 and lasted a few months, was easily noticeable, even to backyard observers watching the star change in brightness. Recovering from the explosion 
the monster star is still slowly recovering from this catastrophic shakeup. Dupree said that Beetlejuice is still doing very unusual things right now. As per him, its interior is kind of bouncing around, which can be seen through close observations. Spectra from TRES and Hubble show that the outer layers may have been returned to normal, but the surface is still bouncing around like a plate of jello as the photosphere rebuilds. Although our sun has coronal mass ejections that shed small bits of the outer atmosphere, astronomers have never witnessed such a large amount of a star's visible surface being blasted out into space. Therefore, surface mass ejections and coronal mass ejections may be different events according to them, and that's probably why scientists are clueless about the event. Moreover, it's been said time and again that the Betelgeuse has become so large that if it were to replace the sun at the center of our solar system, its outer surface would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter. In an attempt to unravel if this dimming and swelling is really a symptom that Betelgeuse will explode soon, an international team of scientists, including Kenenichi Nomoto of the Cavill Institute under the University of Tokyo in Japan and Meredith Joyce of the Australian National University, have done a rigorous examination of Betelgeuse. These researchers have concluded that the star is in a phase of nuclear burning of helium in its core, which occurs more than 100,000 years before the explosion is triggered. The research also concluded that the star has a mass and radius less than believed and that it is way closer to Earth than previously thought. The authors of the new study have also shown that Betelgeuse's smaller brightness variations have been driven by stellar pulsations. And they also believe that a dust cloud intervened in great recent dimming. They have also shown that the stellar pulsations, or beats, driven by what is known as the kappa mechanism, are causing the star to continually brighten or dim, following two periods, one of 185 days, with a variation between 13 and a half more and 13 and a half less, and another of approximately 400 days. So, according to them, the big dip in brightness between late 2019 and early 2020 is not because of a pre-supernova phase, but could be an effect of a cloud of dust getting in between Betelgeuse and Earth in our line of sight. The actual size of the star has been the subject of much debate. However, previous studies, for example, suggested that it could be larger than the orbit of Jupiter. However, the results of the new study indicate that Betelgeuse only extends to two-thirds of that, with a radius of 750 times greater than that of the Sun. However, knowing the real physical size of the star can be helpful in determining the distance it has from Earth. Judging by the results of the new study, it is only 530 light-years from us, that is, 25% closer than where we previously thought it was. The data obtained in the study also implies that Betelgeuse is not at all about to explode, and that, on the other hand, it is still not too far from Earth, so that the day the explosion is finally triggered, it will be dangerous to life on Earth. As of yet, this study is the most detailed study conducted on Betelgeuse's supernova and has been titled Standing on the Shoulders of Giants, New Mass and Distance Estimates for Betelgeuse Through Combined Evolutionary astroseismic, and hydrodynamic simulations with MESA, and has been published in the Astrophysical Journal. Fortunately, there's another study that back ups this detailed theoretical research conducted on the star. The other research also suggests that Betelgeuse is probably not going to explode anytime soon. Before a star goes supernova, it loses an incredible amount of mass and expels a voluminous cloud of dust. That dust often engulfs the stars and disguises them, so it is impossible for them to be seen by any telescopes on Earth before they explode. So there is a possibility that the star has already exploded. And if that's the case, then it has to be a Type II supernova, in which the star implodes on itself, causing a neutron star or black hole to form. But light traveling from Betelgeuse will take about 600 years to reach our planet. If it explodes, or has exploded, it will become as bright as a full moon for a few months, casting its own shadow at night, altering the outline of the Orion constellation forever before fading into nothing. So, is it dangerous for us? 
Any particle from the explosion of Betelgeuse can reach the solar system in about 6 million years, but it would have a minimal impact since the heliosphere, the region of space under the influence of the sun that encompasses all the planets, would be powerful enough to divert it all. The situation would be entirely different if it were at the center of our solar system. It would engulf all the planets in our solar system since it has a mass 12 times of that of our sun and burns so hot that it dies after 8 million years. Therefore, we are protected from Betelgeuse's harmful radiation without having to go through the death zone of 50 light years. However, it will be a magnificent and fascinating astronomical event from a scientific standpoint. So, when will we see it? Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova any time between now and the next 100,000 years. It's really difficult to tell precisely what is happening inside the giant star. So for now, it's time to wait and see what tales the stars tell.